sweet hair. <laughs> look at that hair. <laughs> Let's take a live look outside right now at weather conditions here in southeast Wisconsin. You can see our DOT cameras on the left and downtown Milwaukee. We're in Schlitz Park there on the right. And Boy, same story, no matter really where you are, right? Yeah, no place left for this water to go, Jess. We're saturated. Yeah, and the Fox River down near New Munster continues to be under flood warning. So that's for the river areas and mm -hmm. some of the local areas folks there. We see that very often yeah. in spring. Yes, in that, especially that yeah, yeah. around April and March. Uh, and with all this rain, yeah, it doesn't have anywhere to go but into the rivers. And so some of them are definitely swollen. You may have some backyard puddles that aren't going to be going away. Certainly today you can see temps across the area, though, certainly warm enough to talk about all rain, which is why we see green on the radar at the moment and not some other white and blues like we will be seeing, I think tomorrow evening. Yeah, there's a chance for a wintry mix, but hey, let's talk about right now. 42 in Menominee Falls, 43 in Brookfield with a more moderate rain falling from Menominee Falls down through Wauwatosa, 42 in Oak Creek, 44 in Genesee and a little bit lighter rain, more like sprinkles in foot in Kenosha and Salem at 45 and 44 respectively, 44 degrees in Palmyra as well as in Lake Mills with rain and up to the north, the heaviest rain from Elkhart Lake down through Plymouth at 42 degrees. You can see those little darker greens showing the more moderate rains, but really only need the windshield wipers on the intermittent speed because compared to yesterday evening, this really isn't that bad. 43 degrees at the moment in West Bend and across the Midwest. You can see actually temps for April. Not too bad. Our average high temp right around 50 degrees. Colder air though up to the north and to the west, and this is what's on the way for tomorrow. High temps barely going to even get to the 40 degree mark for many of us. So some colder air behind this rain, but I do expect that rain to come to an end by the middle of the day. So we will have some dry time, especially throughout the afternoon and into the evening hours. Future forecast, you can still see the green at 9 a.m., but again, watching that move off to the east by the noon hour, we will be looking at just mostly cloudy skies. Could see a peak of sun as we go into the evening hours right before sunset, lighter winds. And as we go into your Wednesday, Day. Watching the system down to the south, starting off for the morning commute, you may have some dry time, but then by the end of the day, rain kind of moving in could be mixing in with some snow, especially the further south you are. And really, the storm path on this one, not quite exact just yet. That computer model was paging in a little further south. I do expect that to be a bit further north, so everybody has the chance to see some rain mixing in with some snow as we go into Wednesday night and Thursday morning. For today, though, gray skies at least to start, a high of 50, though, and we could see again some of that sunshine try to break break up the cloud cover by the end of the day overnight though clouds stream back in with that next storm system a low of 36 degrees not going to see much improvement in the temp department for your Wednesday high of only 38 then so it's going to feel much colder add in that northeasterly wind at 10 to 20 miles an hour and it's going to feel even colder than that then you got the rain and that mix when uh, snowflakes mixing in Wednesday evening and into Thursday morning before we bump back up to 41. But it will continue to be breezy on your Thursday. Winds start to finally calm down as we get into your Friday, Saturday and Sunday with a nice warming trend bumping us into the